So tip number one is pretty simple. You have either a view or a building and you place your acetate over it. Number two is a nice frame. Very easy. Flourishes up your project life page really quickly. Some of them are very, very busy and you wouldn't want to put it over your uh, photo because you won't be able to see your photo. So what you can do is simply grab a punch and punch a hole and then you have a really nice frame for your photo. You can also do this with your card so that you're framing an embellishment or you can use the punched out piece as an embellishment. I find this quite a handy trick because I printed a lot of photos in the wrong size and that was obviously a big mistake. So this is 10 by 13 instead of 10 by 15 which fits in your pocket page. So you know you can obviously cut this and stick it onto a card or you can simply use the acetate sheet to frame the photo and no one will be able to see that it is much too small for your pocket page. So if you have a card and you like it a lot but it's a bit boring on your page, you add your acetate and it gives it a bit of flair. You can also use the frames to frame one of your cards instead of a photo. So what I've done here is I use my frame over my card and I stuck some stickers on top. This is a really nice filler for your pocket page. So the first trick for the um, embossed cards is to use a sponge dauber and to either make a circle with, or an oval with your sponge dauber or to use a sheet of acetate with um, as a stencil. So I punched out uh, the sweetheart from here and then I simply use my sponge dauber to put a color in there. I can now remove my frame and there I have a really nice uh, card and you can do something like this with the finished card so I used a sticker and some washi tape just to fill it up. It can be quite difficult to use the colored cardstock. One of my ideas was to add some white onto there with my sponge dauber. but I found that I wasn't really getting a very good effect as the color seems to be absorbing the white. So I also tried this using a darker color and for the blue I used another blue with my sponge dauber again. And there you get a bit of a gradation effect which is also quite nice. especially on the colored cardstock this can look very nice. For example, here I cut up a piece of my card from my Happy Times collection and stuck it on the side so you can do this with washi tape as well. I stamped my balloon in the middle and I used some glitter um, to finish it off. So I want to show you how that looks in my spread. I'm putting it here on the top with a very pretty um, sticker over it from the Happy Times collection as well. I used another of the acetate frames here on this photo and I want to use my self-made frame as well. I'm going to put that here on the bottom. So I hope this really helped you on how to use the card collection. It's so great and versatile. You don't have to use it with the memories in the making card collection either. You can also use it with um, another collection such as the Happy Times card collection. If you want to 
order anything, please pop by my shop. I will also help you in any way that I can if you have questions, so email me and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.